You may think this is a computer. Well, it is, and it isn't. It's actually the new laptop dock for the Motorola Atrix 4G smartphone, and it converts the Atrix into a thin, lightweight replacement for a netbook computer. It's a little costly and a little geeky, but it's also innovative and, dare I say it, kind of cool. There's no brain in the Atrix dock and no local memory or storage. It only comes alive when the phone is plugged into the cradle that folds out from behind the 11.6 inch screen. You also get a full keyboard, generous trackpad, and a couple of USB ports, all in a package that weighs about two and a half pounds. What makes this plausible as a computer replacement is the power packed into the phone itself, including a dual core processor and a gigabyte of memory. The Atrix, which goes on sale for pre-orders from AT&T this weekend, runs Google's Android operating system and includes both front and rear facing cameras and even a fingerprint reader. But there are lots of nice powerful smartphones out there these days. It's really the expandability that sets this one apart. Once the Atrix is docked, an on-screen replica of the phone gives you access to all its functions and apps. You can also surf the web with Mozilla's Firefox browser while a rudimentary file manager lets you locate and navigate through information on the phone as if it were a PC. The phone comes preloaded with Quick Office, an app that lets you create or open Microsoft Office compatible files. And you can also use Firefox to access cloud-based productivity software like Google Docs or Microsoft's Office web apps. You probably won't want to write the great American novel on the Atrix, but it works very well for tweaking a presentation or memo watching a movie or doing your email. There are a few drawbacks. One is price. The phone itself costs $200 and requires a two-year contract. Buying it and the dock together costs $500 in an AT&T bundle. Then, in addition to your monthly charge for data service, you'll have to pay an extra $20 for a tethering plan to let you use them both together. In addition, I didn't like making or receiving calls while the phone was docked. The sound from the laptop speakers was too quiet, while those I was talking to complained that I sounded muffled and distant unless I shut the screen. In addition, because the dock doesn't have a camera, forget about using it for video calls. Still, Motorola and AT&T deserve some credit for doing something that's really new and different. As our mobile devices become ever more powerful and ever more ubiquitous, consider it a glimpse of things to come. For Bloomberg News and Business Week, I'm Rich Jaroslawski.